Healthy and happy. His favorite person is with him. It's Grandpa. A two-year-old boy is safe with his grandpa and grandma tonight thanks to an alert witness with sharp eyes. But gee, this was tense mm -hmm. for a long while. Evening, everybody. I'm Jack Atherton. And hello, I'm Deborah Lins. The two-year-old boy and his mother went missing for 12 hours yesterday. Holly Ali is here to show us how the alert came to a happy end. Wale? Well, Jack, Deb, you may have gotten the Amber Alert on your phone late last night when Melissa Myers and her son Nolan went missing. Centerville police issued the Amber Alert because Melissa was threatening to kill herself and the toddler. And it was a man who was paying attention after hearing the alert who brought this scary scene to an end. This is two-year-old Nolan as his grandparents picked him up today. Is he doing okay? He's wonderful. He's doing great. He's Healthy good. and happy. Healthy and happy. Nolan was the subject of an Amber Alert last night when police say his mother, 35-year-old Melissa Myers, took him and warned her dad something bad was about to happen. They blow up happened tonight. I guess we confronted her, and she's got my grandson, and she's somewhere. I have no idea, but we're getting non-stop text messages saying that she's going to kill her and the baby. And Melissa Myers and her son Nolan went missing from this home around 7.30 last night. 12 hours later, police found them here at the Best Western in Monroe after a bystander saw this car and called 911. That was easy. I mean, you don't see too many uh, lime green or green cars like that in Ford Fiestas. I don't know her story and the baby's story or whatever, but I just know it's in the right thing to do. Neighbors say they never saw it coming. You know, it's a quiet neighborhood. We never have problems like that. Uh, I'm surprised to see it. And we saw the banner going uh, you know, at the bottom of the TV. Melissa's family was just as shocked. And has she ever attempted to harm herself or her son before? No. But her dad did tell the dispatcher Melissa had been struggling with alcohol problems. But right now, with Nolan back in his care, he's glad the Amber Alert worked. Extremely relieved. I just want to get him home. Wow, well, we just talked with Centerville Police. The child was not injured, thankfully, but Myers does face misdemeanor charges of aggravated menacing, domestic violence of threats, and inducing panic. Now, Children's Services tells us they talked to the baby's father today, who was out of town when this incident happened, and they decided to place the kids temporarily with the grandparents. Jack? Now, you may be wondering, what does it take for police to flash an amber alert? It's not always what you think. The child has to be under 18 and in immediate danger of serious bodily harm or death. Police don't usually issue alerts for runaways or kids missing in custody disputes, unless there's also that threat of harm or death. And finally, there has to be sufficient specific information, like a description of the abductor and the abductor's car.